Go to Senator Kevin Kramer. Uh, Kevin Kramer, welcome back to the show. I want to focus on a story that played on Fox News. I know you're aware of it. Native American tribes dependent on fossil fuel resources rip Biden administration for a double standard. They are complaining. North American tribes, it's their land, it's their property. They need this uh, for their livelihoods and their revenues. And the Biden administration, which says they're friends to the uh, Native Americans, are saying no, no, and no. What do you make of this? A lot of it's in North Dakota, by the by. Oh, oh it is, Larry. It's great to see you. And by the way, congratulations on the Buckley Prize. Uh, to me, you're, you. you're William F. Buckley to me. Mm -hmm. um, what, what I would say is this has been going on for some time. I mean, even in the Obama administration, when I was in the House uh, on the Natural Resources Committee, we had a hearing about about um, gas gathering lines and, and flaring of natural gas, which was happening more on, on tribal land than on other federal land, largely because of layers of bureaucracy and because the, the administration, uh, the Democratic administration, was hypocritical in terms of the conflict between the sovereignty for for Native Americans and, and their reservations versus the uh, the left's desire to to uh, stifle the oil and gas industry. Now in North Dakota, 23 percent of the oil that's produced in the Bakken is produced on the Mandan Hidatsa Rikara nation, mm. a sovereign nation that um, is experiencing the same thing that that we all experience, and that is an, an, the overreach of a federal government that doesn't want these resources to be to be mined or to be developed, even for their Native American friends. I mean, I'm reading from this article, the Interior Department is expected to finalize a 20-year ban on oil and gas leasing. Now, this is the uh, Shaco, yeah. if I'm saying it right, Canyon Historical Park. It's Navajo land in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. But they also talk about your state. MHA Nation Chairman Mark Fox uh, said last year it's... Uh, our children and grandchildren for the next 100 years have some place to live and they need the jobs and the livelihood so this is a, this is an example of the of the of the downside of the war on fossil fuels but not even their own promises to the native americans to the indian tribes are being kept i mean it really is something it really is something and you know you have you have some treaty rights here you have obviously some legacy um, uh, obligations here, uh, but the the fact of the matter, matter is they are sovereign in how they govern themselves, and and that same sovereignty in how you govern yourself means you know extends really to your natural resources. Mm. And by the way, Mark Fox is a really good chairman. I, I like Mark a lot. I know him pretty well. Work with him closely, of course, on on lots of issues, not just natural resources issues. But they know what's best for themselves. They know what their their members need. They know the advantages. Of, of jobs, high paying jobs, wealth creation. Um, it's again, it's their natural resources. And it, you would think that just as a matter of justice, we hear a lot about justice and equity from from the left. And yet here's a situation where um, they certainly seem to have thrown some of those priorities out the window and, and replace it instead with keep the oil in the yeah. ground. I mean, the Native Americans are a casualty of the war on fossil fuels. Senator Kramer, well, I've got you though. Um, lots of rumors that Saudis and OPEC plus, including Russia, are going to cut oil production, cut oil production in order to raise prices. Um, what you make of that? Well, that would certainly be problematic, obviously, for uh, for the political future here in the short run for the for the Democrats, um, and it would it would not be great for the overall economy. Uh, right now, oil prices are higher than they they used to be, but mm. they're lower than they've been recently. Um, I think they're, they've settled in at, you know, at an area that most people have at least taken a breath and, and are able to fill their car again. Um, but if, if that happens, first of all, so much for Joe Biden being able to transact with the Saudis and, and trying to use the influence of, uh, of his bully pulpit with the world marketplace. Um, but what we ought to do is bring, be bringing the prices down by producing a lot more right here in the United States of America. Remember when we did that once, Larry? Um, it worked quite well. It brought prices down for the consumer, which brings prices down for everything that, that affects energy, which energy affects everything in the supply chain and the value chain. So um, we don't really need to worry much about the Saudis or the Russians because we have the resources right here in the United States of America. We just need to unleash right. the, the innovators. Just shows you the pitfalls of energy dependence.
We've gone from independence right. to dependence. And everybody's suffering, including the Native American tribes. Anyway, Senator Kevin Kramer, thanks very much, sir.